In Thailand, near the border with Burma, 800 people have been eaten in the last 30 years. They've got a problem with tigers, and locals have hunted them to the point of extinction. At this monastery, Buddhist monks have come up with an extreme solution to tiger conservation. They live with 18 resident tigers, who they say are reincarnated monks. To me, though, they're still tigers, and one of my greatest fears. I've come here to both meet the reincarnated monks and face my phobia. I'm going to meet the abbot now. I have a bit of breakfast with him, but I'm a bit disturbed because uh, the tigers are supposed to be in cages and they're actually wandering around here. So I'm not sure if there's any up here or not. There's a huge tiger there. Do I want to be having breakfast with, with the tigers? Not really. I don't want to be their breakfast either. Nice one. The Buddhist abbot here believes that the tigers won't attack anybody because they're reincarnated monks. The big tigers are very big. Yeah, very big. Yeah. Are, they, are they dangerous? Yeah, in, in, yeah. in the jungle, it's very, very dangerous. Yeah. But in here, it's not dangerous. It's okay. like a friend. Yeah. Yeah, we, are, we are stay here like a big family here. Mm. We, we, we believe in reincarnation. Yeah. It, we think it's, uh, the tiger here is uh, like uh, my old friend. Yeah. So the body looks like a tiger, yeah. but before it was a monk. It was a monk, yeah. Tigers are probably getting a bit jealous. They haven't eaten yet. They're starving. Feed them some brummy later. This is Dr. Somchai. He's the main vet here. He's been here for six years, so he's got some experience of handling the tigers. And he's seen a bit of action in his time as well. Um, and he's going to give me some pointers how not to get eaten. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So first, uh, and fundamental regulation here is yeah. uh, please don't turn your back in front of the tiger. Don't turn my back in front of the tiger? Yes, facing with them. Okay, what happens if them. I do that? Once you turn your back, the tiger will jump to you. Okay. And the second is, uh, don't show your fear, okay? He can sense my fear. He can sense your fear. Tiger really? is very, very, very clever and know. If it... you show a sign of fear, you're taking us, you have something happen, yeah. they will come to you. To help me overcome my fear, I first meet some of the temple's little Buddhas. <coughs> How beautiful. Look at you. It's amazing to think that something so gorgeous in a couple of years, he's going to be the most ferocious killing machine on the planet. We're taking a trip down to the quarry, where there's nine tigers waiting. I'm personally crapping myself. It's midday, the tigers have had their lunch and they're now sleeping it off. I'm about to get very close. That's going to take me in now. Thanks. OK, thank you. Sit down. Personally, the last thing I'd want while having a siesta is to be pushed and prodded. This is fun, isn't it? These may well be reincarnated, peace-loving Buddhist monks, but let's face it, they're also wild animals. Tiger handlers are present just in case things do kick off. Yes. Not it. So you, can, you can see the teeth, touch the teeth. Yeah, big teeth. Yeah, you touch, touch, touch the teeth, yeah. yeah. Okay. I need to be absolutely calm in my mind, so as not to wind okay. it up. I'm kind of hiding my fear, really. I don't know if I'm doing a good job or not. But I am bricking it. But I kind of know what he means about chilling out and feeling the love. Because it's a beautiful creature. Stroking a tiger's head, unreal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you see the teeth? Yes. Huge claws and paws. It's very big, isn't it? Yeah, 175 kilo. Really? He's not sleeping. He yeah. listen. Yeah, you see? Yeah. Oh, so he's not, oh, he's not yeah. sleeping. He's, he's actually... Yeah, he listen. Yeah, he's listening. Right. <laughs> he's listening. Okay. Thanks very much for Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. I uh, feel like a new man. <laughs> see ya. Mate. See you. 
to be honest, when I went in there, I didn't feel... I didn't feel as much fear. I could feel, like, old habits of fear going like that, you know, coming back and... But then I was with him. He was calm. Everyone was calm. You know, the tigers are calm. All right, if I can stay in that calmness, that tiger's not going to eat me, and, and, and it didn't. If I can keep my mind calm, I'm not a target. He doesn't see me as a target. He doesn't eat me. He could eat me very easily, but he didn't. So that's one way of beating a tiger, isn't it? Mind over tiger. Thank you.